Mr. Ed here. Today is the 6th of March, 2016. And today I'm in Enon, Louisiana, about 23 miles uh, northwest east of uh, the Abbey. And uh, today we're doing my first uh, cutout, um, and it's bees in a trailer. Now I've already, I've already removed the, the bottom skirt board of this trailer right here and exposed the hive. Um, so I'm going to grab the camera and uh, bring it down here and uh, show you what, uh, what we're looking at this morning. Well, how's this for a hive? This is really pretty. This is all the, um, looks like it's old honeycomb right there. But then as you go down, because it's almost the whole width of this trailer. And you'll see all the bees down at that end. Looks really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and get my boxes together now. And uh, I'm going to see if I can do this without vacuuming, but we'll see if I get away with it. I hope to. Otherwise, I'll have to start vacuuming. So, I'm going to get busy with it there. By the grace of God, these girls are going to be coming up to the Abbey with us this afternoon. All right, time to start work. I ran out of time. I wound up vacuuming everything. So, it's, it's all over with. Except for the poor bees crying. But this is what we got left. It's all out of there. No, I did not find the queen. And, uh, I mean, I sucked a bunch. I've been sucking for two hours. So, I'm gonna go head up to the Abbey real quick, release these girls, get that brood covered before it gets chilly. And uh, we'll pick it up there. All right, see if we get it. Well, back up at the Abbey. Uh, kind of starting to feel like, uh, Old Randy over at the 628 uh, Dirt Rooster, or, or JP the Bee Man, uh, bringing these bees home in the dark. I got it set up. Um, it's the, the middle box right there. Let's see if I can get a zoom on it. That's the one right there. And I released them. I was uh, really concerned with uh, getting those uh, bees back on the brood. I wound up with um, seven frames of brood. And... Uh, they were really nice frames of brood, um, and there were a lot of uh, uh, drone cells. I, in fact, I actually cut out two more uh, full frames and just left them out there. Um, so I want to just get those bees on, on covering that brood of this evening. It'll probably get down into the 50s again tonight, and uh, so they'll, they'll get on to it. So I'm going to come back tomorrow morning, tomorrow sometime, and uh, go and reverse the boxes and... Uh, get out of that box set up straight and put some sugar water on them. So we'll pick it back up again tomorrow, uh, sometime tomorrow. Uh, but for right now, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. God bless, Mr. Ed. Out now. Been about 16 hours since I set the box up last night. And then today I'm going to go ahead and, and actually take the, um, the bottom out and uh, just put the bees in the brood box, which is right here. So it's just a matter of, of placing the uh, screen bottom board uh, on the bottom, taking this one out, putting the screen bottom board on it. So I'll show you how I do all that. Very graceful. Still got the job done. Um, I want to show you uh, the, uh, one of the reasons I really do like uh, that vacuum cleaner that I, I use, um, the BVAC, is the uh, as many bees as I suck, and it's probably you know at least four, maybe more pounds of bees that I suck. And I just want to show you the, um, the mortality of the bees. So. You can see, out of all those bees that I sucked, 
Here's here's my dead bees right here. Right here. So that, that's really a, an acceptable uh, loss. It's it's still not bad. Uh, and another really good thing about that vac is all this trash that I sucked up, it didn't get dumped into the hive. Um, that the bees were, were able just to uh, um, walk out of that and get onto the frames. So, with that being said, and the bees hopefully in their box will settle down, uh, I'll call it a day. Um, I want to thank you. Oh, before I, before I sign off, I want to show you something. I, mean, I got I got my 91 year old mom with me out here today, riding shotgun with me. Hey ma, give him a wave. She's out here helping me today with the bees. I'm going to take a ride out in the country today and look at some more stuff and uh, go eat some dinner and uh, have a good enjoyable Sunday afternoon. So that's all I have for you now. Um, thank you for watching. Keep on watching. And God bless. Mr. Ed, out. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Mr. Red, back on it. I told you all that I'm uh, taking mom up, uh, taking on a little ride. So we came back up here to Enon, where I did the uh, cutout yesterday. Because I really doubted that I sucked the bee up, yes, the queen yesterday. And I didn't see her. Came up here and I'm looking around on the ground. And as I'm looking around, I find a, a cluster of, of bees. I'm trying to find that queen for you. You can see her. They've got too many bees around her. So I said, we, we came up here and, and uh, um, um, I just suspected that the queen was still up here. And I came up here and I found a little cluster of bees on the ground. And uh, I'll look inside of it. And lo and behold, there she is. I don't know if you all can see her. I can, I can see her. Um, she's, she's a very small queen, but she had a really good laying pattern. So I'm really happy about this. Um, got the queen, and I'll go back up to the abbey and put her inside. Of That's all for now. This time for sure. But thank you all for watching. Keep on watching. May God bless always. Mr. Red, out. <laughs>